We are flying a drone in Texas from Arizona. From, from my couch, right here, from the couch. <laughs> Today, Paladin released a new product, which is an LTE dongle, which can be connected to the back of your drone, so you can control the drone from, well, a much longer distance than you would with a traditional controller. Now, with that being said, there is a lot of FAA approval that you need to get before you can do that, but we're gonna be putting it to the test. And you can see here on my, on my desk, what I have is, I have this PS5 controller right here, I have my laptop, and then we are actually connected to a drone right now in Houston. We are in Arizona, I'm sitting on my couch and I'm gonna be flying a Matrice 300 with a thermal payload all the way in Texas. And then take a look at this. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go and yaw to the left. So as I'm yawing to the left, actually I can see the drone yawing and I stop and boom, it just stopped. Uh, the latency is actually really, really small. Uh, I can also go forward and as I go forward, the drone goes forward and then I let go and then it stops. We're gonna be talking to Tyler, who's part of the Paladin team. Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Roberts and I am the growth lead for Paladin. Also, we're gonna be talking to Lewis, who's one of the users who actually does this on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi everyone, my name is Lewis Figueroa. I'm a detective with the Elizabeth Police Department. Let's get to it. Let's talk about all the details in here and all the things that are in the software. So the new product we've come out with is LTE for DJI. And essentially what this is, it is a module that you fasten onto the top of the M300 or the M30, plug it into the PSDK port, and now you can fly, again, the M300 and the M30 all over LTE. So through the LTE and using our software, essentially what you can do is click one button on a computer screen and the drone will take off and fly to the destination that you've marked. Greg, we're gonna have you fly it today. I'm gonna hand it off to you. Go ahead and give it a try. Oh, okay. And I can take over. That's insane. I, I think it's, it's pretty incredible, actually. I mean, I've got maybe half a second delay from the time I, I input something to, uh, to go in, which is not bad at all. So the latency of the whole system, we like to see under one second. The command and controls through LTE is almost instantaneous. Uh, the lag that you see is actually the video feed. And so we like to see the video feed at around under half a second, that's where we like to see it. Now you have to rely on the LT network uh, connection that you have. So if you're National Forest Service flying it where there's no LT connection, I wouldn't recommend using the LT. But if there is cellular connection around you, the range and the added benefits are massive. So you've, you've flown a lot of drones, Greg. What do you what do you think about not having that, uh, that range anxiety, right? Where you start losing connection, right? Isn't that the truth? That's, that's incredible. That's incredible. Wow. Well, this is cool. I uh, paint me impressed. This is uh, this is amazing. So, uh, and I don't get impressed very often. All right, folks, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did flying this thing all the way across the country. Uh, a big thank you to Tyler uh, for allowing us to get here. Also for Lewis for being able to uh, share his uh, his feedback and, and the way that they use drone. And of course, for Divi, the CEO of Paladin for letting us uh, get this before anybody else. So uh, as always, you can like, subscribe. We'll have more of these videos in the future and we'll see you next time.